advice would you give to young female artists wishing to follow in your footsteps and become professional full-time artists? Group together, work like, you know, use your skills, use like, if you get into a groups of people, you can be much stronger and if you share your skills and you don't need the money to put something on, you can find an issue space somewhere, you can, you know, put something together on a shoestring. It's, it's possible if you work together. But you are managing to sell your work by yourself. Yes, independently. it's, um, yeah, I seem to be, it's been really good. Um, I've just got a piece that I'm wrapping up today to send. It's, it's actually going back to Devon. It's, it was painted in Devon and somebody um, contacted me through my website asking if they could buy it. And they've bought work before of mine and from a different, an earlier series and they wanted to buy one from this series. So they kind of knew the work already, but, so they won't actually see that painting until it arrives. Yes. But what I did was, at what, one of the reasons I've got all these pictures on the wall is I, I put a few together on the wall and photographed them and sent, sent a picture so they got an idea of what they felt like. It's like an isolated, cut down image of the picture. You haven't got a sense of scale. True. Or the colours necessarily, how accurate they are, True. particularly in a digital setup. So I thought if I photographed a bunch of them, they would, they would get more of an idea, a feel of the piece. Very good. Uh, it's really important to have a very well optimised functioning website so that people can actually see your work and get in contact with you? I think so. I've sold quite a lot of work through people just seeing it on my website mm -hmm. and then contacting me. I, I got my first solo show by having had some work in a, collect, a group show and people saw that and then they looked me up and saw that there was a whole body Yeah. and they offered me a solo show. So it's really important to have your work kind of curated. Yes. On your, on your site. And you said you sold stuff through Saatchi as well. Yes, I put um, some paintings on Saatchi. It used to be called Saatchi Online. I think it might have changed its name recently. But yeah, and it's free free to put on. They take a 30% commission. Um, the whole buying process seems to be quite easy. It's quite guaranteed in the sense, and they, they send you very particular shipping instructions. They, they take the money from mm. the buyer. They give you the instructions to package it they send the courier to pick it up when, when you've packaged it. When the buyer receives it and are, are happy with it, then they release the money to you. That's very good.